Joe Biden today is assembling a, a coronavirus task force. Um, and uh, it will consist of actual scientists, uh, scientists who are respected uh, by their peers, who are working and take uh, coronavirus seriously. Uh, the one thing that could very well bog down the attempts of the Biden administration, or I should say transition team, to get ramped up, because there's nothing that these folks can propose that Biden can obviously do now. But he is getting these proposals lined up so that on day one, he can implement these to the extent that he can implement them with a potentially hostile Senate. But there's another problem. There's a Trump administration appointee, this is according to the Washington Post, who is refusing to sign a letter which allows President-elect Joe Biden's transition team to formally begin its work, work this week. It's the uh, administrator of the General Services Administration. This is a, an agency that's in charge of, uh, of, of federal buildings, and um, they must sign paperwork which essentially allows the flowing of millions of dollars which are budgeted to transition administrations, if you will, gives them access to, um, to government buildings, gives them access to uh, government uh, officials, gives them, you know, I imagine like key cards or IDs, uh, equipment. Essentially, there is a budget there are, there is facilities all set aside for presidential transitions. One person has to authorize it. And this person, Emily Murphy, who is the GSA administrator, refuses to write the letter. Now, there was a transition delay in 2000 because there was no call and no clear consensus on who the president was until December. But aside from that, that's it. GSA spokeswoman Pamela Pennington says an ascertainment has yet been made and its administrator will continue to abide by and fulfill all requirements under the law. I mean, it is unclear when this is going to happen, but... Um, you know, this is part of, of the continuance of the Trump administration to basically say, we will screw over. I mean, look, even if you believe that, even if you are, are, are of the belief that we don't uh, know what's, what's, what the outcome of the presidency is, and I, I don't think there's any rational people who are not on the payroll, literally, of the Trump campaign who, who argue this. The uh, you could release these funds and have this work done just to ramp up. Uh, but hopefully it will not inhibit the Biden administration uh, too, too much, because obviously we have in this country um, and it's happening uh, to a certain extent around the world. But we are perhaps uniquely ill suited for what's happening. 